What's different today is that since 2020, what we're seeing is the largest outbreak of avian influenza among wild birds and then transmitting to poultry and backyard bird flocks. The virus has also been found in certain mammalian species, most recently in dairy cattle, which is a little bit unprecedented and unique. And every time we see the virus go from birds into mammals, we worry about the virus adapting closer and closer to being able to infect and be transmitted in humans. Now the good news is, is that the pasteur pasteurization process that is used in the United States and many countries inactivates avian influenza. And so the milk that we drink, if it's been pasteurized, is safe. Any animal products such as eggs or beef or chicken that you would cook to the recommended temperatures renders that safe to eat. As with any uh, potential infectious disease associated with food, cooking to the recommended internal temperature that the CDC lists on their website is really important. And if you do that, you inactivate viruses like influenza, you inactivate bacteria and parasites that could cause a human infection. So that's just a general precaution and good step to take. If you're interacting with birds, either through a backyard bird flock or a poultry farm, and that bird is sick or dead, you need to wear an N95 mask, you need to wear eye protection and gloves. Most importantly, you need to contact your state or local public health so that they're aware of what's going on either in your poultry facility or in your backyard bird flock. And then if you come down with symptoms, especially after interacting with a sick or dead bird, get tested for influenza. The good news is that our influenza test that we use currently should pick up an individual who's infected with avian influenza. It just won't tell us specifically that they have avian influenza.